It is morning. I request that you wake up. You have successfully awakened. Mission complete. It has not triggered yet. Five minutes early is on time. That is the phrase posted on the wall, so I woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Can you help us? She might have gone out on her own like she did in Yakushima. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. You... I entered while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, I will address it promptly. The problem? Well, it's probably against dorm regulations for one. Look, don't just stand there, tell her! Oh, come on! You know she's not allowed in here. Okay, look. I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Just don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Yeah, okay. I'm tired. All right, well, I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend.
ingredient in my cooking but I couldn't really decide and I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy yes you're right I haven't even gotten the basics down yet I'm getting way too ahead of myself first thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make having a lot of trouble getting things right. But I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. No, that's not true at all. I mean, everyone in our group works hard. And beyond that, I think you all have something that you're good at. Me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. It's honestly not worth mentioning, really. I just happen to like them. It's not exactly something worth boasting about. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. I've always loved watching him work on those things. That's probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirijo group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Later. Thank you. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? I wonder why it's so easy talking to you. I feel like you stop me from being so negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. So much. Let's go home. Welcome back. <laughs> Excuse me. Look. Whatever like is, we can flow with the 
That reminds me. Chill vibes. The night time of love. The sun on one. Any time surprise. Um... Sit back, relax to the sound that goes around. Oh, around, right. Around, 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 she said. This time, let's have a nice meal as we talk about our future battles. Or do you not care, as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? Hmm. Our future battles, huh? Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first. Let's get some food. Hey, what's going on? Should we call somebody? There you are, Akihiko Sonata. Oh, you're the guys from before. Turns out you're pretty famous, huh? An up-and-coming boxer, that it? Time to pick up where we left off. Show me what you got. Kicking your ass is gonna do wonders for our rep. No way we're gonna pass this up. Champ or not, look at our numbers. You ain't got a chance. <laughs> Boxers are tough, ain't they? What, you can't handle a challenge? You're welcome to join him though, pipsqueak. See, we're reasonable, right? <laughs> You said beating me would do wonders for your rep. I thought this was about testing each other's strength. You idiot. I'm just gonna have fun kicking your ass because you're full of yourself. And who the hell cares about any of that as long as you win? Isn't that how you roll too? <laughs> so, you wanna go first or what? Get back. Are you shitting me? Get back here! Hey! Nobody runs away from us! <sighs> Running away is easy enough. It's losing them that's the hard part. Still, made for a good workout, right? That was some quick thinking, by the way. Just what I'd expect from our leader. I don't exactly like turning my back to an opponent. But it doesn't matter in the end if I can't protect the ones beside me. And being outnumbered increases our risk of injury or damaging our surroundings. What I mean is, you made the right call. I owe you one. Hmm? It's addressed to me. It says it contains fruits, snacks, and beverages. Looks like it's from my parents. I'll take it to my room later. Yeah, my foster parents that adopted me. I haven't kept in touch lately since I'm so busy. But it sounds like they're doing well. I appreciate how much they care, but this is a little too generous. Wanna take some of it off my hands? And again, You'll hardly make a dent in this, either. Good idea. Would you mind gathering everyone up? Oh my! Very intriguing. Everything 
something of such high quality. I can tell just by looking. Your parents must really care about you. <laughs> At least you know how to behave in front of your parents, Nagihiko. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about me? My parents have been good to me. I obviously haven't told them about what we do here, though. Wow! <laughs> when it comes to being considerate of others, you're a heavyweight. Glad to have you in our corner, senpai. There he goes again. He sure looked good, though. Thanks for sharing, Sonata-senpai. Take whatever you want. Hey, this looks just some really good. good. What's that? Going for that this one, huh, like Yukata? You have my thanks. That took care of most of it. I'm surprised they were so happy. Hmm. I've really got to show my gratitude. To my parents and to everyone here. Well, all this talk about my parents reminded me of some things from the past. Like, why I'm here right now. I guess I feel like I remember my reason for fighting. Well, don't mind me. Let's just say I've got a lot of room to grow. The dorm's gotten so much busier. The orphanage used to be something like this too. We all lived under the same roof. Just having casual conversations. I'd forgotten what it was like, but it wasn't so bad. I remembered after you suggested we share with everyone. Tell that to my parents. I really gotta repay you in particular, though. Or we'll never be squared away. All right, it's pretty late now. I guess we should clean up and call it a night. What? Is there something there? This is... No, this is mine. You won't understand what it means, but it's from a long time ago. Do you mind if I ask you something? You take on the role of our leader, and you're stronger than anyone else in your own right. That's more than just being talented. Where do you get that strength from? Oh, I see. You mean you feel motivated because you have people in your corner? Bonds with others, huh? That might be something I'm missing. Well, whatever it is, you've clearly got something that I don't. But being jealous or trying to copy you isn't gonna help me. That strength is yours alone. I'm going to get stronger, but I'll do it my way. Sorry, we were supposed to be cleaning up. I'll take care of the rest. Things got so busy that I missed out on my chance to thank you again. Hopefully the food was enough for today. I'll invite you out again some other time. started.
As such. a minute it's about the track team since you just transferred you probably haven't heard about the Mioho cup right well let me tell you on august 2nd there's a major competition for track and field there's this guy named hayase total speed demon we can't let him trounce us this year We've got high hopes for you so get ready to train hard I'm gonna need you to show up from July 27th to August 1st. Don't go skipping school now. I've got a special training regimen in mind for you. ISA won't stand a chance. Competition's on August 2nd. Let's do this thing! if you want to shorten your run time. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again! You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me, but what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. We can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. We said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but... We're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. I'll let the auntie slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big! Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here, understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenchon, you're so fast! You should be our coach. Oh. 
like a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? it isn't a decision to make lightly. All right, I'll be your coach. But I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo. Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Think positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds hard, hard but okay. okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um... I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Thanks. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. <sighs> Your pills. <sighs> I noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <sighs> it is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, nosy little shit. Yeah? They're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you, I'm done with them. Oh. 
Right. Today, we'll talk about... Uh, I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. One of my employees. Maybe I should have seen it coming. There was a young man who was working for me. A hard worker, graduated from a distinguished private university. But... This month, he couldn't meet his sales quota, so I docked his pay. Self-confidence went down the drain. Then, just stopped coming to work. He's probably cooped up in his home or something now. None of my business. I just mailed him a letter of termination. C.O.D. It's his fault the company's in the red this month. I've wasted so many resources. All those expenses for training, hardware, facilities, labor costs. Oh, it makes me sick just thinking about the net losses. Ugh. Of course it is. I love money. Money will trick like he did. It's difficult growing up with no money. You can't even afford shoes for gym class, you know? Going barefoot in the winter is torture. I've been thinking, how would you like to model exclusively for my company? Your innocent appearance would be a perfect camouflage for the ugly realities of business. Think about it, will you? Join me, and you'll never have to worry about being shoeless in PE. Oh, better get going. Oh, we're short staffed now, so I'll have to reevaluate the budget for next month. If I decide to hire someone new, their training is going to cost a fortune.
these amazing commodities. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. someone else to welcome into our vlog! No! Speak of the devil! <sighs> oh, wow! Are you interested in joining, too? Finally, Paradise is smiling back at me! Yes! Yes! What are you saying? That I should just abandon these people to their fate? I'm trying to save these people. They've suffered in this world just like me. Someone as good looking as you could never understand. You have no idea what people like me have to go through. Fine. If you're gonna try and stop me, then, then you and I are through. Don't fall! 
follow me around anymore. Only true believers are allowed into paradise. Huh? W what is this? Is this an emergency? A serious emergency? So the world's coming to an end, huh? I think I remember some other cult saying stuff like that. Except they really weren't about initiation fees. It was more about giving up material wealth, wasn't it? Stealing ideas from real, actual religions. That's a textbook cult tactic, you know? You mean... This was all a trick? Oh, yeah. You've been duped, kid. But not by us. You should blame that cult you believe in so much. Now that I know the truth, I almost feel sorry for you. But you had to take things too far. Try not to hit his face. If you leave any marks, might be able to press charges. Ah! <laughs> Am I? Am I gonna die? <laughs> but, but if I die here, I'll be reborn and I can go to paradise. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What? What are you doing here? After I said such awful things to you, that we were through. I'm freaking out! I don't want them to hurt me! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Gross, dude, you're getting snot everywhere! Screw this, I gotta get to work. <sighs> I've had just about enough of this. Look, just forget about the money, but I don't ever want to see you near my son again. You're so wonderful. You have such a kind soul. Oh, welcome back. I speculate. 
night time I love The sun I'm on Any time to run See I'm down Sit back, relax To the sound that goes around Yeah Seriously? Hey, listen. Mm. In that case. Do you ever feel encouraged reading about the influential figures of the past? Even leaders who forged great nations faced the challenges of interpersonal relationships. Well, it's natural to consider things, isn't it? Oh, were you expressing concern for me? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract from our reading. Shall we get back to it? Oh, look at the time. I think that's enough for today. That was a pleasant time together, hearing nothing but the sound of each other's pages. I'd like to hear your thoughts on our reading again sometime. But for now, good night.